A post-process volume in Unreal Engine is a powerful tool that allows creators to apply a variety of visual effects and adjustments to their scene, enhancing its overall aesthetic and cinematic quality. It acts as a container for post-processing effects, which are modifications applied after the rendering of the scene, influencing how the final image looks to the viewer. In a game like Black Myth Wukong, the visuals feel alive, stunning lighting, vibrant colors, and cinematic depth. That's where the post-process volume comes in. It's the magic that turns a basic render into something truly breathtaking. I created this environment to show you that post-process volume is a toolbox for adding finishing touches to your scene. It doesn't change the objects themselves, but changes how they look, like adjusting brightness, colors, shadows, and even how the camera focuses on things. First, let's go to Toolbar and add a post-process volume in our scene. Click on plus button. Go to Visual Effects and add post-process volume. This cube is post-process volume. Everything that is inside that cube will be affected by it. If you have a small map, you can use Scale tool to increase the size of it, or you can just simply set it to Unbound. So everything you see on your viewport will be affected by post-process volume and we use it on Unbound in most cases. Now on Details panel, I'm gonna change the exposure settings because scene is overwhelmed by lighting. Set the metering mode to manual. The viewport is pitch black now, but we can change the exposure value and set according to your scene. In my case, 10.6 is perfect for my scene. Now the scene looks better than before. We can also add some bloom effect. Keep it on standard and let's change intensity and value totally depends on our scene and lights we used in our environment. 0.91 worked perfectly fine for me. Post-process volume works real time. So it's very easy for us to do color grade and manage brightness and shadows in our scene perfectly. And there are a lot of settings inside post-process volume. You can use them according to your scene. We have depth of field as well. But first let's change the temperature of our scene. Go to Temperature, Enable Temperature, and change the temperature to Warm. If you want your scene to be warmer or cooler. Like in my case, I want my scene to look a bit cooler. I will set it to 5500 manually. And now the scene looks really better than before. We also can control saturation and contrast with post-process volume. And under the global section of post-process volume, we have saturation, contrast, and gamma settings. This is how you can color grade your scene inside Unreal Engine, but you also can do it inside DaVinci Resolve and also After Effects. And you can see the before and after. The scene is actually so much better than before. And we can enable or disable global illumination, which uses Lumen in latest version of Unreal Engine. It's improving by every update, and we also got mega lights. I will explain this new feature in next videos. For now, I'm just focusing on basics of post-process volume. If you want, you can add multiple post-process volumes in your scene for dynamic scenarios, and all different volumes can control different type of lighting, shadows, and even depth of field. Let me show you an example how you can use it. Let me choose an angle to demonstrate the depth of field. Sometimes we can't find what we're looking for. Now just type depth of field on search bar of details panel, type depth of field, and here we can start making changes on focus distance and set it accordingly. Depends on how you're seen and what you want in focus and out of focus. Hard to find the correct value for focus sometimes, so I will try different values manually and see how it goes. I really hope it's noticeable on your screen that the wall is in focus and the background is blur, or I say out of focus. You have to practice a bit with depth of field and you can get cinematic renders out of your normal looking scene. Or you can use depth of field from camera if you're making game cinematic cutscenes. If you have a character with beautiful hairs, then you can enable hair depth. 
I hope this video helped you understand how powerful the post-process volume is and how it can transform your visuals in Unreal Engine. If you found this helpful, don't forget to leave a like, share it with others, and subscribe for more Unreal Engine tips and tutorials. Let me know in the comments what feature you want me to cover next. Until next time, keep creating and take your projects to the next level.